right so in the previous video we have created a prefabs for our zombies and we have created the spawn points and everything okay as you can see everything is set up so now let's double click on this zombie web system script so that it's open in the text editor and when it open up right here let's create the i mean let's remove the start and update method and right here we will create a reference to our zombie prefabs so we will say public game object this will be an array then we will name this as zombie prefabs okay so we can now assign our zombie prefabs in the unity inspector to this then we also need the spawn points so for that we will say transform make this an array name this as spawn points okay then after this we will create a public float by the name of time between waves and this will be by default equals to 10 and this will be as you know the time between waves in seconds okay then we need a timer to track when to start the next wave okay so for that we will create a serialize field whoops let me actually go back then serialize field this will be a private float by the name of wave timer and this will be equals to zero by default then after this let's create a private integer by the name of wave number this will be by default equals to one and this will basically track the current wave number okay then with what we will do is we will create a public integer by the name of zombies per wave and by default set this to 4 and this will basically be the initial number of zombies per wave okay now after this let's create a method by the name of start new wave and in here we will now start a new wave and when a new wave is start what we should do then so first of all we will reset the wave timer when a new wave is start so wave timer will be equals to zero then uh, when a new wave is start we will make that new wave a little bit difficult so in order to make it difficult we will increase the number of zombies okay so right here we will say zombie per wave plus equals to two that is it then after this we want that when the zombies are uh, spawn okay we want the zombies to be a little bit away from each other or else the zombie will spawn inside of each other okay for example if this uh, dots are our wave points okay and for example if we spawn zombies on this point then for example if the first zombie spawn right here then the next one will be in the same position as well and the third one as well and the fourth one as well so what this basically will do is it will spawn the zombies inside of each other okay so in order to fix this what i did is i simply uh, give some uh, space between the zombies when they are spawned so right here we will be calculating the minimum distance between zombies to simply prevent the overlap okay so for that let's create a float by the name of minimum distance and this will be the distance okay or you can say the space it will be for units and when we have the minimum distance now let's go ahead and spawn the zombies and then give space between them okay so right here in the four 
loop I will set the integer i to 0 then we will say if i is less than the zombie per wave then if that is the case and we will say i plus plus ok now what we will do we will create an integer by the name of random spawn index then we will say random dot range okay for the first one we will pass zero for the second one we will say spawn points dot length okay so what this will do this will basically spawn points on each of the spawn points okay it will select a random spawn point and spawn zombies right there okay so now let's set the transform so we will create a transform by the name of spawn points this will be equals to spawn points and in here let's pass the random spawn index that is it okay now right here let's select a random zombie prefab from the uh, uh, zombie prefabs array okay so for that first of all create a game object by the name of random zombie prefab this will be equals to zombie prefabs in here we will say let me actually copy that whole line paste it in here so random dot range first of all we will pass zero then we will pass zombie prefabs dot length okay so this will basically select a random zombie prefab now after this when we select a zombie prefab now we will offset the spawn point position to prevent the overlap okay so for that let's create a vector 3 by the name of spawn points or actually spawn position this will be equals to spawn points dot position plus random dot inside unit sphere multiply that by the minimum distance okay and right here it is inside not insider inside unit sphere now after this we will make sure that the y position is at the spawn points y to avoid the height difference okay so we will say spawn position dot y equals to spawn points dot position dot y that is it after this let's now spawn or you can say instantiate the zombies so right here we will pass the random zombie prefab then the spawn position then the spawn points dot rotation okay now when a new wave is created so we will say wave number plus plus and that is it and guys uh, right here let's move this transform which is by the name of spawn points let's cut it from here and actually let's paste it up here okay because we cannot declare the spawn points before creating it so make sure it is at the top no actually we don't need to do that just click on ctrl c so that it gets back right here i forgot right here this is the spawn points this transform okay 
and make this as spawn point okay not points this one that is all okay because this transform spawn points is a different thing right here we pass this spawn points okay and also right here make sure that you remove the s from there as well because it will be then this spawn point dot position and right here as well and in here as well that is it and i don't know why right here the unity make this as random spawn index but this should be random as you can see when i type random it shows this suggestion so when i press space or anything it just do that but this should be random dot inside unit sphere okay so this is it for this for loop now we can just simply save the script and get back to unity right here if you click on spawner the script will show up now we need to provide the zombie prefabs so let's click on it again the spawner log this and let's select all of these zombies and drag and drop it inside the zombie prefabs then the spawn points so we can just select all of these spawn points and drag and drop it in here then everything else is set up now if we click on the spawn points here they are now what we can do is if we play the game as you can see everything is right here now if we click on debug as you can see the wave timer is not updating and it cannot create a wave and the reason behind this is we need to create a update method now right here on the zombie wave system okay and then we will say if the wave number is equals to 10 okay then we will simply return from here because we want the number of waves to be 10 okay you can decrease this value if you want or increase it then now right here we will increment the wave timer so we will say wave timer plus equals to time dot delta time after this we will create an integer by the name of int value or integer value it will be equals to math f dot round to integer then we will pass the wave timer after this we will check if it is time for a new wave so we will say if wave timer is greater than or equals to time between waves okay then what we will do we will say start new wave that is it and unity again suggest me time between waves it should be time okay just time that is all if you save the script get back right here keep this in the debug mode actually what we can do is okay let's leave it in debug mode let's play the game so that you see the wave number change now as you can see wave timer is started if we click on scene view we can leave this right here as it is so now when it, the wave timer becomes 10 as you can see zombies has been spawned okay but if you notice it is showing these errors okay let me unlock the inspector as you can see it says that the player is missing from these zombies okay and the reason behind this is if we click on our zombie AI right here we also have a player reference and we don't uh, assign that player reference automatically okay so we can just copy the code from the zombie the waypoint zombie AI right here 
okay which we did in the previous video we type this code and just simply paste it in the start method of the zombie ai that is all save the script get back right here and now if we play it again okay let's click on spawner and let's move right here back again so that we can see the zombies spawn now as you can see zombies right here are spawned okay you can notice the zombie clones right here as you can see this one is walking towards the points as you can see okay and you can if you click on the spawner where is it right here click on it you can notice the wave number is now 4 and when it becomes 10 then it will simply stop okay and also when a new wave is start you can notice the zombie per wave is increasing okay as you can see now there are zombies everywhere let's check that spawn points as you can see right here as well As you can see, they are now following us. Okay, there are zombies everywhere. And if you notice, if we try to shoot them, the bullet doesn't seem to be working on them on this waypoint zombies okay i know why it didn't work but if you for example fire this one as you can see it is working on these zombies and the reason the shooting doesn't work on the waypoint zombies because in our shooting control script right here as you can see we only detect the zombie ai script okay and not the waypoint zombie ai so now let's detect that as well so if you just simply copy this paste it down below right here change this to waypoint zombie ai right here type waypoint zombie ai as well then copy this paste it in here then copy this waypoint zombie paste it in here and right here as well and i think we are now good to go okay let's play the game again and now if we try to shoot the walking zombie as you can see we can damage this one and now this one as well as you can see the zombie died so now our uh, zombie wave system is completed and now we can uh, damage the zombies as well so with this done let's end this video right here